Hi everyone, with Labor Day right around the corner, I thought I would come up with a couple quick and easy recipes, uh, perfect for a barbecue, potluck, um, or if you're just kind of hanging out at home and relaxing. Uh, first one is a mango guacamole. Now this kind of takes my classic guacamole, chunky guacamole recipe that I have on the blog and kind of adds some nice fresh ripe uh, mango to it. Uh, perfect, perfect for the summer. Uh, you get, especially August, September time frame, all of the fruit is in perfect ripeness um, from all the summer heat. And so the mango adds a nice little spin on classic guacamole. The second one I'm going to be making is a kind of my twist on a roasted tomato salsa. Uh, now we're going to be using whole chilies, both uh, guajillo chilies and chipotle chilies that we're going to uh, take all the seeds out of and then soak um, to soften them down. And then we're going to be adding some roasted tomatoes, a little bit of cilantro, some apple cider vinegar, and also some tomato sauce. All right, so, so we'll make the mango guacamole first. This way we can pop it into the fridge and start shelling it down. So we have pretty much all of our classic uh, guacamole ingredients, avocado, some fresh lime juice, uh, aroma tomato, red onion, garlic, and then a little bit of cilantro. We're also gonna throw in just a tiny bit of kosher salt to really bring out the flavor. So I'm gonna get all of those ingredients into the bowl and then we can add the mango. Okay, so now that we have all of our other ingredients in the bowl, we can peel our mango and then slice it up and then add it. I leave my uh, guacamole very chunky. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of like the puree type of um, guacamole. I, I like to have chunks of avocado, um, but certainly if you'd rather have that, mash up the avocado first and then you can add the rest of your ingredients. So the easiest way that I found for a mango is to peel the mango um, almost like as if you're peeling any other vegetable. Um, and then you are going to cut off um, each of the sides and then just a tiny little bit of meat that's left around the edge. So first we can peel our mango. Okay, now that our mango is peeled, we can kind of scooch this back. I cut, um, you can kind of actually feel the pit as your knife is going through. Um, so you have to be really careful with this because you don't want to slice your fingers off but kind of start towards almost the exact center of the mango. And then as you're pushing down, kind of angle your knife going away from the pit. And then you can kind of just follow the pit all the way down. So you can go all the way down and then take off this one big slab. Now, if you have a little bit of extra um, peel there, you can just kind of cut that off with your knife. But now you can slice this up and add it to your bowl. So we can add this right in. Now you can use however much or however little mango you want. I usually use approximately half of a mango and then take the rest and just sort of eat it plain. Um, this way all of the ingredients so are about So we can just stir this all together. And pop some plastic wrap on it and then put it into the fridge. Okay, so now for our roasted tomato salsa, I have these, this was the guajillo, guajillo chilies and the uh, single chipotle chili that we took the uh, seeds out of. We soaked it in some water for about 15 minutes until they are nice and soft, kind of very like pliable. So we can add in, this is about a third or a little more um, than a cup of uh, fresh cilantro. We have our roasted tomatoes. And then we can add in a little bit of salt. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, pulse all of this together. Okay, so I pulse this until it's almost smooth. Now we can add some of our apple cider vinegar. and add our tomato sauce. Put the lid back on, make sure it's nice and tight, and we're gonna pulse it a few more times. Okay. So now 
you can take this out of your food processor and pour it into a bowl and pop it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. So just over a week to go until Labor Day, uh, hopefully you can start gathering up these ingredients and uh, planning to make these recipes uh, for a barbecue or having people over. So I hope you guys have a very safe and relaxing Labor Day weekend uh, coming up here, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.